Ever feel like you're living in a signal wasteland? No reception? Fuzzy channels? Maybe you're stuck relying on that unreliable antenna that picks up nothing but static and conspiracy theories. Well, fear not fellow frustrated viewers, because today we're diving into the wonderful world of the Wally Receiver and setting you up for crystal clear entertainment bliss. Now, the Wally Receiver comes in a few flavors, most commonly used with Dish Network, but the setup process for the most part remains similar. So whether you're a seasoned satellite pro or a complete tech newbie, this guide will have you navigating channels like a champ in no time. First things first, let's get our tools together. You'll need the Wally receiver itself, of course, the power cord, an HDMI cable, or RCA cables if your TV is a bit older, and the coaxial cable that will connect the Wally to your satellite dish. Most Wally kits will come with everything you need, but double checking never hurts. Alright, with our arsenal assembled, let's get to the fun part, the actual setup. We'll break this down into three key steps, connecting the Wally to your equipment, running the setup wizard, and finally, activation. Step 1. Connecting the Wally Find a well-ventilated spot for your Wally receiver, avoiding any tight spaces or direct sunlight. Next, take the power cord and plug it into the Wally's power input, and then into a wall outlet. Now, for the video connection. If your TV is relatively new, you'll likely have an HDMI port. Use the HDMI cable and connect one end to the Wally's HDMI output and the other end to the corresponding HDMI port on your TV. Older TVs might use RCA cables for video input. These are the red, yellow, and white cables you might have seen around. In that case, connect each colored RCA cable on the Wally to the matching colored RCA input on your TV. Finally, there's the coaxial cable. This one screws into the Wally's satellite end port, and the other end will connect directly to your satellite dish. Once everything is securely connected, power up your TV and switch it to the correct input for the Wally, HDMI, or whichever RCA input you used. You should see Wally booting up on your screen. Step 2 The Setup Wizard The Wally will likely launch into a setup wizard automatically. If for some reason it doesn't, you can usually find a setup option on the Wally's main menu. The wizard will guide you through a few straightforward steps. First, you might be prompted to select your language preference. Easy enough, right? Next, the wizard will check your internet connection. If you have an ethernet cable handy, you can connect it to Wally's ethernet port for a wired connection. If you prefer a wireless setup, the wizard will walk you through selecting your Wi-Fi network and entering your password. This step is optional, but an internet connection allows the Wally to download program guides, access streaming apps, and provide software updates. The wizard might also ask you to set up parental controls if you have young viewers at home. This is a great feature that allows you to restrict access to certain channels or programs based on age ratings. Finally, the wizard will initiate a signal search. This might take a few minutes as Wally scans for the satellite signal. Be patient, and don't be surprised if you hear a slight whirring noise from the satellite dish as it adjusts its position. Step 3. Activation Once the signal search is complete, the Wally will need to be activated. In most cases, if you're connected to the internet, the activation process might happen automatically. If not, you'll likely see an option on the screen to activate your Wally. This might involve entering an account number or calling DISH for assistance. Here's a quick tip. If you have any questions about your account information or activation process, the DISH customer service number is usually displayed on the screen during this step. With a little patience and following these steps, you should see a message confirming successful activation. The Wally will then download any necessary software updates and program guides. This might take another few minutes, but hey, it's like prepping your personal entertainment buffet, gotta wait for all the delicious channels to load. Once everything is downloaded and installed, you'll be greeted by the Wally's main menu. Congratulations! You're now ready to explore a world of channels, movies, and shows, all with a crystal clear picture. 